Hi grade threes. This week for spelling, we are having a look at a new resource which is called Mrs. Wordsmith's Word of the Day. And what we are going to do is have a look at a brand new set of words every week. Now these are not, I guess, usual words or maybe even words that you're familiar with. But the idea is to extend your thinking and expose you to words that you might not know or you might have heard of but you didn't really know what they meant and you certainly didn't know how to spell them. So they're tricky words and the reason why we want to learn tricky words is because it helps us to extend our vocabulary which means that we have more words in our brains that we understand. And if you have more bra words in your brain that you understand, you're able to spell better and you're able to read better because when you recognize these words in your reading, you will know and understand them. So you'll have better comprehension, but you'll also be able to use some of these interesting words in your writing. So it helps with so many different things to have a larger vocabulary, which means have a larger bank of words in your brain. So we are using our Mrs. Wordsmith words to focus on spelling and focus on understanding these words and using them in context and using them in a way that makes sense. So I'm going to go through an example with you and then I'm going to show you what I want you to do yourself this week. Now with Mrs. Wordsmith she usually gives us a picture and gives us a word and then tells us the meaning. So this is our example word. Our example word is flabbergasted. And you can see that this, um, this particular giraffe is really flabbergasted because he's just realized that he's won the Tats Lotto. Let's have a look at what flabbergasted means. Now it says down here that flabbergasted is an adjective that means shocked or amazed like how you would feel if you won the lottery. So maybe you can sort of make a picture in your mind about this giraffe and what he's doing. And when you hear the word flabbergasted or you come across it in a text that you're reading, you can think of this giraffe and think about his bulging eyes and how shocked he was that he got the jackpot. Now, I'm going to give you a very similar worksheet to this one. This is how Mrs. Wordsmith likes to um, set out her word of the day. You can see that flabbergasted is in the middle and then she's got quite a number of things around showing. I'll just wait for that little heading to go up. Um, showing lots of different aspects of that word. So we'll start at the top here. Now in your worksheet, you're also going to have word pairs. Now what that means is to put the word together in a sentence that makes sense. Um, let's start with the definition first. So we've got flabbergasted. We know that you, so you're going to have to go to a dictionary or you're going to have to go to a dictionary online, type in your word and get a definition from the dictionary. So we know that flabbergasted means shocked or amazed. What are some synonyms? You might have to go to a website and type in what are the synonyms of flabbergasted. So we know that synonyms mean words that mean the same. So a synonym of happy could be glad or a synonym of cold could be freezing. So they are words that mean the same. So flabbergasted, some synonyms of that could be shocked, astonished and amazed. Now you don't need to know all of these things yourself. If you go into Google and type in synonyms of flabbergasted, Google will give you lots and you can just choose a couple to show. I don't expect you to know them all yourself. You don't have to think of them. You can look them up. As I said over here is word pairs. So what goes together to make sense with flabbergasted? So you could have a flabbergasted reaction, which means that you're shocked. You've, you've been so shocked by what's happened. You could be a flabbergasted audience. So perhaps there was a person on stage doing a show and the audience were shocked. You could also have a flabbergasted onlooker. Perhaps there was a car crash and the onlooker was shocked and amazed. Let's scroll down here. In this little box down here that says tell a story, um, you're going to use your word in a sentence. So it says here that Shanghai was flabbergasted with all he, this lottery money he could finally, and then you continue on. 
So you're just going to write your, your word in a sentence that makes sense. Over here we have a picture of the word. Now let me show you what that looks like for you. This is your template. So you are going to have your word pairs. Our word for this week is insatiable. So we had the example word of flabbergasted, but for your work, you're going to use this word called insatiable. So you guys have the word that you're working with, which is insatiable. So the first thing I want you to do is go to an online dictionary and type insatiable and see if you can find the meaning. Now I'll give you a little clue. It's got something to do with being greedy and not being able to ever get enough or feeling like you're getting enough. Can you find some word pairings? So things that make sense with insatiable. So if insatiable means greedy and you can't get enough, perhaps you could have an insatiable hunger or insatiable appetite. So they are examples of word pairs, words that make sense together with the word insatiable. Tell it in a story. Um, so put it in a sentence that makes sense. In this last one, you've got a picture, and what I want you to do is use one of your word pairings. So go in um, satiable hunger, for example, um, and go to images and see if you can find an image that you think looks like insatiable. Now, here's somebody eating a big burger, so I might cut and paste that picture and pop it in my box. So I've got an example of what an insatiable hunger looks like. Thanks guys, look forward to seeing what you come up with.